So just to give you a bit of a, a flavour and a bit of a, a feel for things, I don't know if you want to have a, just a quick look into your chat box and give me a guesstimate as to how many carers you think we have in the UK. I don't know if you want to just throw some something into there. Hopefully I should be able to see it. Oh, two million. Any advance on two million? One million? OK, well, I know you're probably all frantically pressing your buttons at the moment, but what we're looking at, and according to the census back in 2011, was around about six and a half million carers across the UK. Now, we know that the pandemic has increased that number of carers. We've seen a lot more people um, providing care and support as a result of the pandemic and actually realising that, you know, they do have caring responsibilities. What we tend to see in terms of numbers is that around 2.1 million of us will become carers during the course of a year and 2.1 million for, for 2.1 million of us, our caring rule will end. We know that of those carers, about one and a half million are providing in excess of 50 hours care a week and we know that they save the NHS and our government around about £132 billion a year which is actually more than the budget that is allocated to the NHS. One in five carers are between the ages of 50 and 64 and the vast majority are female although the, the numbers are starting to um, shrink so at the moment we're talking around about 58% of carers being female and 42% um, being men. That changes somewhat once we get to the over 85 age group. And what we tend to find is a higher number of carers over the age of 85 are, are men. We reckon that there are around about 600,000 carers from BAME communities um, in the country at the moment. And there's an estimate out there that by 2037, we'll be looking at around about 9 million carers across the UK. So it's not an insignificant number. And a lot of that relies on people self-reporting or self-identifying, which is one of the most difficult things for people to do because the majority of people see caring as just something that happens and something that you just do for someone. 